Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show how to create a set of bouncing balls using particles, particle systems and physics. Uh, so, first of all I'm going to move my cube up. So I'm going to grab it, press Z, type in 10, press enter. So move my cube up. Now particle systems. Uh, very handy for explosions um, but you can in this tutorial I'll show you how to replace a particle with any object uh, which creates interesting effects. How useful it is? Well who knows. But, um, so main settings for particles are, uh, particle emitter are here. I'm just going to have 20 particles and they're going to start emitting at frame 20, stop emitting at frame 40. Because I want the later on, I'm going to have the balls bouncing and I have time for them to bounce. I'm going to make this. Uh, I want them to live at least 350 frames, and I will eventually make the movie 350 frames long. Okay, have I got particles? Let's have a look. Yeah, 20 particles being emitted from the cube. Doesn't have to be a cube, any object can emit particles. Okay, that's particles. For a snazzy demonstration, I'm going to emit monkeys from the cube. So how do I do that? Um, let's add a monkey. And... Uh, put it up out the way. So I'm going to grab it, put it up here. J I'll just rotate it so it's facing us in the front view. Okay, how do I get the cube to emit monkeys? There's a couple of settings you need to know about. Uh, one is the physics. It's the size of the particle. Now, if it's um, uh, as small as that, you won't see the monkey. You, so you need to set this to be one, or or 0.5 is fine. Um, and this is where the magic happens in the render sub panel. Uh, you can select an object. The particles are replaced by an object. So you click on object there, and select monkey and press play and look at 20 monkeys falling from a cube impressive I don't know how useful it is but it's impressive I want to have uh, balls bouncing so I'm going to add a UV sphere to be my ball let's move that up out the way when we render it we won't see any of these at the top we'll just see the balls bouncing Come back to my cube and uh, well, we're in the right place. We're in the uh, particles uh, properties and down to object where it says monkey. If we replace that with sphere and we press play, we now get uh, balls. How do we get them to bounce? Got to add something that they will collide with to bounce with, so I'm going to add a plane. Uh, scale, scale factor 5, press 5, press enter, and uh, so the balls will come out of the cube and bounce off the plane. Well, at the moment they go straight through. So with the plane selected, I go to the physics in the properties panel and collision, I add collision and that's all you have to do rewind and play okay there's just a couple of things I want to do I want to see the balls bouncing a bit longer so make the movie a bit longer, 350 um, if you notice the balls, they don't lose any energy on bouncing. Uh, 
Now, in the real world, they would lose a bit of energy on bouncing, so I need to dampen that bounce a bit. So we need to do that as well. And I want to color the balls red. So the dampening, uh, I need to select the cube. You must select the emitter. Go back into particles. Uh, and it, there it is there, damp. Now, if you put this at a high value, the balls come out as though they're traveling through treacle. So you have to put it at a very small value. Uh, through experimentation, I found 0 0.008. Let's try that. So they bounce quite high, but there's a definite dampening effect. Okay, I want to make the balls red, so I select the ball and go to material, add a new material. I'm going to be a good professional person and name my material red ball material. And make it red, go to diffuse put the red on full, put the green down and the blue down and press play and there I have red balls bouncing as they bounce some of them bounce off the plane and fall into space and that's basically how to make a set of bouncing balls using particle systems um, please go to my website freemovies.co.uk see the blender channel there and you'll see more tutorials um, you'll see I'll put this finished file up there as well so there's lots of resources and other tutorials there thank you for watching and goodbye